Tonight is the moment where we launch our second edition of the Ghana Insolvency and Restructuring Journal live here at the Moving Pick Ambassador Hotel. The new act at 1117, among others, changed the name of our journal from the corporate to Ghana. So the journal we will launch this evening will be described as the Ghana Insolvency and Restructuring Journal. The lead article in our journal is Navigating Financial Distress. And anybody who has looked at our economy over the past few years, there's been a lot of financial distress. And uh, skills are required in navigating it. It is a particular pleasure and privilege for me to be associated with the launch of another edition of the Ghana Insolvency and Restructuring Journal. The journal is now statutorily established by the Chartered Institute of Restructuring and Insolvency Practitioners Ghana Act 2024, Act 1117. It is my pleasure as the editor of this uh, journal to warmly welcome you to the launch of the second edition. Your presence here today reflects the importance of insolvency, restructuring, corporate governance uh, in the Ghana's um, evolving economic and legal landscape. And this means a lot to, to us. It, my job is really to review the articles that are published in the current version of our journal. Uh, we had quite a few submissions, 10 were carefully chosen to fit within the theme of navigating financial distress. By integrating conflict of law principles with public international law and reciprocity arrangements, the article aims to create a more investor-friendly corporate environment. If you are interested in how Ghana can foster global business integration through reforms, this article offers compelling insight. On behalf of PwC, I must say that we are pleased to have been able to support Garia, not just in terms of this journal launch, but in terms of all the various activities and the journey that has been taken uh, to get Garia into Syrup uh, to where it is today. Now, this is the moment we've all been waiting for. The journal duly launched. Please, let's put our hands together for him. Okay.